let's assemble the electronics for the rain notifier project. First of all, let's grab the Raspberry Pi. It is possible that you have an older version of the Raspberry Pi. That's fine. It will still work. If you notice, the difference that's important for us here is the number of pins on the sides. Those are called the GPIO pins. The new ones have a lot more. In our case, it really doesn't matter because we will only be using the first few ones here the same as on the old Pi. So let's set the old Pi aside and let's use the Grove Pi. Align them properly so that they go in with the two sets of pins and you just push them on. And you've connected your Grove Pi to your Raspberry Pi. Now make sure that they're aligned properly and that you didn't bend any of the pins. Fine, that was easy enough. Now when you receive your Grove Pi sensors, the LEDs is most likely not assembled. It takes a second or so to do. If you look at the base, the LED will go onto those two pins over here. And they're surrounded by a circle, except that this side of the circle is flat. If you take an LED, one of it has a circle at its base, right at the base, and one side of it is also flat. If you have good eyes, they're very easy to identify. If you have aging eyes, like mine, not always so easy. Or if you're in a bad uh, lighting environment, not always so easy either. A very quick way to find out which is the flat side is just to roll your LED and it will always stop with the flat side down. So pick it up, taking into account your flat side, align the flat side to the flat line and push the two pins in. And that's it for that. All this that's missing is the provided cable. Now the cable, there's only one way for the cable to fit in. So don't worry, you can't do it backwards. And I've already have the blue LED already prepared. And we can put them onto the Grove Pi now. Now the rain notifier software that we provide, that Dexter provides, um, takes D7 and D8 as default connections. You're free to change that, but we'll use the default for now, because there's really no reason to change it. So D8, no, sorry, D7 is the red one, the red one for D7, and the blue one goes on D8. So we've done our circuits for the rain notifier. No soldering, no breadboard, no calculations, nothing. One of the last steps is to put in the Wi-Fi into the Raspberry Pi USB port. And then take the Raspbian for Robots um, prepared card. Uh, that you can get from Dexter Industries. This has all the files that are needed for the Grove Pi. I've also changed it a little bit so that it, it is ready for my home Wi-Fi. And I've put the Rain Notifier program onto it. And I've set it so that the Rain Notifier starts at boot. So as soon as the Raspberry Pi will boot, the Rain Notifier will work. If you have an older Pi, this card, this SD card, goes right in here. If you have a newer Pi, either the B plus or the 2, there's no place for this. You have to take the micro SD card in. So if you're new to micro SDs, that actually comes as a little surprise. There's this little tiny cutest little thing card in it. <coughs> and it will go into this connector here. So gold connectors down so that they actually connect with the Pi and you push it in. And the last thing that we need to put in is the power. Now it's going to boot up. You can see it by the lights over here. And once Raspbian is up, it will get onto my Wi-Fi network. 
and it will also start the rain notifier software that's already prepared on the card. Now the rain notifier software, I gave it my home information so that it knows where I live. It's not sending the information to anyone but uh, weather underground and weather underground returns the forecast for the day. And as we can see right now, I have a blue sky outside and it should be like that for the rest of the day, so I don't need an umbrella to go out.